the main important points that we found on this study to validate why we use the video double lumen tuber as our sole one lung ventilation tool for our thoracic cases at MD Anderson is verific uh, fiber optic use of the verification of final positioning uh, was only 13.2% for the video double lumen tube. Uh, of course, the double, the standard double lumen tube needs fiber optic positioning 100% of the time. We were able, the need to, to correct this lodgement, we were able to, to correct, the, uh, only have this lodgement, you can see in the video, that was 7.7% versus in the, with the standard double lumen tube 100% of the time. So only seven, seven, only one out of 13 times that we need to use a fiber optic bronchoscopy to correct the dislodgement. Um, over 90% of the time with the video double lumen tube and the, and the camera. And this is from the first device, which now the second device is up, updated with a better clearing, better visualization, less secretions. So this is probably much higher now. We did the randomized control trial right now, but we're able to fix dislodgement with the video camera that is provided already with the device. For warning dislodgement, as you can see, we are able to for, uh, uh, forewarn dislodgement, which, like I said before, is imperative for us because we want, as, when you're in one lung ventilation, we, want, we don't want to provide intermittent one lung ventilation, especially during crucial parts of surgery, especially during a back or especially during a robotic surgery, as it can be extremely detrimental to the surgery. So we were able to provide this continuous visualization and continuous one lung ventilation. I always like to emphasize the continuous one lung ventilation to our trainees. And this study demonstrated a reduction of 86.8% using fiber optic bronchoscopy use. 